I'm Joey Newman and I create music. Joey, tell me about your expo experience this far. Well, it's been awesome. I actually went to visit my friend uh, Ryan Shore and Charlotte Bernal on the uh, Thursday night for the uh, film and TV uh, critique panel, which was really good. And then uh, I came today to do my TV panel, which was seen and heard. It's certainly the woes and uh, tribulations and, and again, great experiences what it means to be for TV. So I'm curious about that song, the, the feedback panel. Um, did you hear anything from some of the submissions that you were surprised by? Yeah, I think uh, I, I actually probably would have liked the composers to be even a little bit more critical because I think that's ultimately what those people wanted was you know to come in there and really get a critique uh, and a critical ear on it. But for the most part, I think they were able to do a good job. I think it's great that there's even this experience off the bat at all for any composer to be able to get. Um, and I'm hoping maybe next year that you guys even expand further in video, you know, the whole nine yards. Have you had that many opportunities to really mentor other composers, budding composers, like you're doing today? Yeah, uh, from interns that I get in, uh, I went back to speak at Berkeley a couple years ago, talked to the folks who were students there, uh, doing this, I'm kind of all into it, I, I love it. I think, in the end, that's what we're here for, is to educate and help out, you know, the next generation and kind of give people our experience, as opposed to hiding it and keeping it within, but who cares? We're all in the same boat, we're all musicians, and musicians should encourage each other. So you're a band guy. You you started out as a drummer, really, yeah. before you went into composing. Right. Um, were you stoked to see some of the, the old rockers that were here doing other panels? Totally. And I'm a huge Jonathan Brooks fan. I know she was here last night. I uh, love her songwriting. And, uh, yeah, big time. I mean, even I've been on the panel with Brian Lathan, you know, Lavender's a transcender. So for me, band guys are all over the place. And, you know, we all approach it the same way. We've got to approach it from a rhythm standpoint, which is what I always do. So tell me what's happening with your composing right now. Uh, let's see, the middle finished up. I'm about to go on hiatus on another series I do for... Uh, Oprah's Network about the Judds, um, and then it's uh, middle comes back third season in the fall. So I'm, I'm actually playing drums. My dad and I have a band together right now, blues rock band, ten piece blues rock band, full of other film composers, including Ryan Shore on Harry Sax. It's a great sax player. Um, so we're playing in the summertime, and so I'm getting a little bit of my roots, and uh, you know, waiting for the other thing to kick in later. So is Papa Joe and the assistants. That's right, Papa that? Joe and the world famous assistants coming to you this summer. We're actually playing the mid May 24th. Uh, and uh, I'll probably line up a couple gigs after that, playing a couple of private parties, but mainly uh, uh, we're on Facebook, Papa Joe, the famous assistants on YouTube, Twitter, come find us.